Hello, a warm welcome. We've dropped anchor here on the south coast of Emere Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Southampton taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. And Goro Conte starts alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Thank you, St. Mary Stadium. Enjoy the game. It should be a match to look forward to. Chelsea get it underway. Conte. Here's Kovacic. Kukureya. Kovacic. Now Conte, will it be? Well driven fiercely against the frame of the goal. Well he struck it well enough, but that has to go down as a big miss. Chelsea definitely looking to get back to winning ways after that draw in the last game against Brighton and Hove Albion. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, away from home, it was a decent result. Today, though, if they dominate the midfield area, as they should do, I think they'll win this game. Well, we're at the business end of the season now, and when you look at the top of the table, still unclear who's going to take the title. One thing you can guarantee, though, is you can watch it all unfold live here on EA TV. And you certainly know who pays your wages, Derek, but I think everybody can see this is going to be a great finale to the season. Which team will keep grinding out the results? It's going to be very exciting. Walker Peters. He's protecting it well. And possession given away. Ward Prowse. Chelsea will get the throw in. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, so far this season, Derek, he's been the outstanding player in terms of creativity. Whenever he gets on the ball, he looks as though he's going to threaten with a pass. Other players can make the runs off the back of him, and I'm sure we're going to see more of that today. And Pulisic has it. Is this the moment? Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Well, it appears there's been a goal in the Bournemouth game. Over to Alex for the details. It's a goal for Spurs. They've scored the opener here with 15 minutes played. 
Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Kukureya. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, shielding the ball admirably. And teammates to play it to. And it was a great chance for 1-0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. Reese James. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Must take the lead here. And able to get a body in the way. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Ward Prowse. Guadio Cone. Really good interception. A foul, but advantage played. Walker Peters. And the cross into the middle. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Can someone get on the end of this? Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Armstrong perfect example of how to put in a tackle and a corner will be next <laughs> trying to pick out a teammate well, nowhere close to the goal when all was said and done. Well, from that sort of position, you should really be testing the goalkeeper. Has to hit the target. It's not a good attempt. Ziyech. Here's Mount. Pulisic. Can they create something from here? The cross is on. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Oh, a lovely ball. Not a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Well, Chelsea have had so much possession, as you can see. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play... Oh, the... big chance here! And a goal! That will do it! They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Are back underway and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Ziesch. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. So, inching towards half time, it's Chelsea with the advantage. Stuart, what strikes you about their performance to this point? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time.
Paul Ebere Onuachu. And there to intercept. Rhys James. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, this has everything, as you can see. It goes over the wall, starts outside the post, and then comes back in. What a strike that is. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Able to skip past his man. Big chance. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Can he deliver it with accuracy? No nonsense clearance. Ngoro Conte. Broya. He's protecting it effectively. Well, there we have it. That brings to an end the first half here at St. Mary's. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Yeah, you're right. He needs to impose himself on this game. He just hasn't done enough to get away from his marker so far. Unless that changes, they're going to struggle to turn this one around. And now they get the ball rolling. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Ziyech. The ball with James Ward-Prowse. But a goal to update you on in the Wolves game. Alex Scott has the details. Yep, yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. It's now 1-0 with 47 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Koulibaly. Kukureya. Armando Broya. And they kick the ball. Advantage Chelsea. And is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Southampton facing Everton. Pulisic. Broya. Pulisic. Pulisic. A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. 
What a great finish. Three goals without reply. Determined defending. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. And he was in the right place to intercept. Reese James. This is Thiago Silva. And a change to the scoreline in the Wolves game, I'm hearing. Let's get the news from Alex. And it's a goal for Wolves. Now jumping in because this could be promising for them. And reading it absolutely superbly. Now options are plenty. Magnificent defending. James. Well, sincere apologies for having to cut you off just then, Alex. Just to confirm, Wolves did score in that match. And the match is level at 1-1. Gives it a go! And fine goalkeeping. Who can he pick out? Well, no wonder he's smiling. Didn't quite come off for him, though. Well, quite rightly, all roads lead to Wembley on FA Cup final day. And you'll be able to see the action live with us right here on EA TV. It's Chelsea facing Arsenal. Well, that's always a great occasion. The atmosphere will be electric and the two teams will be desperate to lift that cup. Well, getting in the way, superb save. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Favouring the short one. Or Kraus. Has a go. Oh, good work by the keeper. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. And he takes on the shot. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Well, I believe a spot kick award in one of the other games. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yep, it was a penalty for Wolves. He made it look so simple and easy, straight into the bottom corner. It's now 2-2 with 72 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. And the danger cleared.
Onuachu. Bad pass. 15 minutes left for play. Mount. On to James. Thiago Silva. Zakaria. Take it away. He's protecting it well. well. These fans are starting to make their way to the exits here. The game is surely beyond them now. Thiago Silva. Koulibaly. Well, we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Ward Prowse. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Zakaria and Mount. Mudrik. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Crossing opportunity. And he knows he must thump it away. Romain Perrault, and the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Stuart Armstrong, Kyle Walker Peters has it. Bednarek, the ball with James Ward Prowse. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Into the advanced position. And the degree of difficulty wasn't all that high in terms of the save. Ziesch. And he read it well. So the final whistle, and what we can say officially now is that Chelsea have picked up maximum points from this fixture. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, he normally delivers, I think that's fair to say, but he hasn't delivered in this match. Well, that was an average performance by him and his teammates. They just never got going. He can certainly play better than this.